not a leader. Like, you, know, you are too. In Germany, of course. So we have to use anybody. <laughs> okay, it is now working. Okay. Oh, it's so you were a young man, 26, 27 years old, yeah. a member for about 18 months, yeah. and Brother Busha. And the mission president, Rudolf, uh, Rudolf K. Parker, he came from East Germany, Okay, uh, called me to be the district president. It was hard, of course, for the older uh, members uh, to accept that suddenly a young man was 26 years old, not married, yeah. uh, was a leader uh, over them. <laughs> And so <laughs> it was pretty difficult sometimes. Well, I, I hear you. And I was a student at this time, too. I was, oh. not, I was not established in any old way. I was just a student. And as a district president, how many were in the in the district that were members? Uh, I think about well, just about 300 active members spread uh, over about six little branches. So the beautiful branch was, was the main branch where, where I lived. Uh -huh. There was about, I would say, 50, between 50 and 60 active members. Then there was the Hamm branch, the Osnabrück branch, Herford branch, uh -huh. and Minden. Paderborn? Paderborn and Minden. Paderborn and Minden. Paderborn and Minden. And Dortmund had a Sunday school. Dortmund. You, you know that yourself real well. Had you served in, a, in that same area as a missionary before all of this or after he was made? Branch president. Oh, a long time before. I served in Germany just as, just after he was baptized. Oh, you mean Detmold had a, had a, had a you know what I said? You said Dortmund. Okay, Detmold had a Sunday school, mm -hmm. and Gütersloh had a Sunday school. Oh, okay. But you know, I didn't have a car. You can imagine, it was a little bit difficult to get around. <laughs> I can, I can imagine. I was a bit on the mercy of <laughs> some, some other district officers to take me. Yeah, to yeah. Some branches. Okay, now tell me about, and Dan Busher was just a kid at he the was, time. He was just this cute, skinny, little dark-haired kid. We'd go to do some, to Dortmund for district meetings, uh -huh. and his mother was the state young ladies leader. And Those she, we, yeah, this was after we were married. This was before, right here was district president, President Busher uh, taught him how to be a church leader a oh, long man. time before we were married. Uh-huh. But it was always fun because Sister Busha would be there with, with all of the other young ladies presidents from the different wards. I mean, you know, a president was the president, the secretary, and everything all rolled into one. Right, because right. You were the young woman's organization. And his mother was such a fun person. I just love her. She was just oh. so delightful and so caring and so willing to teach this transplant from the States who hardly spoke German. Yeah. But she was good. <laughs> That's great. Now, if I told you that Brother Bush and now is tall and slender and and gray headed. I'd say he's just like his mother. She went gray pretty early too. But he's still spoiled and I'm sure he was spoiled then. <laughs> oh, he was never spoiled. He was pampered. <laughs> I tell him that I want to be just like him when I grow up. Is that a wise decision? If he's anything like his father, yes. Uh, he is. He's like his father. The first memory I have of, of President Busha, besides going down to Dusseldorf for training meetings, was after um, they divided the Dusseldorf stake and then they took a piece off of the Dortmund stake and put it into Hanover. And they were there in the, the this big villa that was the the Hanover building. Uh -huh. And we had just a tiny little baby, and she needed to be fed. I needed to nurse her. And so we asked, is there a little room that we can go into to, to feed our daughter? And they sent us to one room, and then they came in. I just barely started nursing, and they moved us to another room. <laughs> and this sure. has happened twice, and we've been moved the third time, and Brother Busha came in. They were coming in to have President Brother Busha do, do interviews in that room, and he saw what was happening, and he says, I will find another room. Let this lady, let this sister stay here and feed her baby. I need to uh, find a different room. And he was just, he was always that loving and that caring. Wow. So That's tremendous. He was now, very, very, he was, was very un-German. <laughs> you know, un-German? Uh, un-German. Okay. Un-German, I would say. <laughs> un-German is good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Because the Germans focus much on organization, that meetings start in time, all the little things eh, which you can write down. Yeah. But 
all lies yeah. with the Pharisees. You know, they often to forget love and compassion uh. and mercy and, and those things. But he had it. And he had it. I mean, he's uh. he represented it. In every way. Okay. Now, I want you to give your address, your phone number, and your email address. Sure. Reinhardt's email is, is Franz, F-R-A-N-Z, at E-T dot B-Y-U dot E-D-U. And our address is really easy. We're both teachers. We live on 1292 Apple Avenue in Provo, which is 84604. And our phone is... 801-377-5641. That is great. You are going to make his day, <laughs> let me tell you. He's such a cute kid. He was such a fun little boy to watch, and he was so sweet with our little girl when she was still in a buggy. I can believe it. Okay, Brother Busha, this has been your treat for the day. So this is an adios goodbye from... Brother and sister, Franz. Franz. Okay. <laughs>